Let's uh, take another look at using alternative shells in that Gen 2. So we've done dash, power shell, and fish with uh, varying degrees of success and cursed. Let's try seashell today though, I think. What we'll do is we'll check um, app alternative SH, see if Gen 2 supports it. It does not. So, let's emerge it. Emerge VA CSH. Uh, we're using the improved version, it seems. E shell. Let's install. Now, I don't know much about this other than it's an alternative to a bash and it's more sea like. Um, hence the sea in the seashell. So, I'm basically going to be learning this as I go along with you. Make it a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Right, we've done that. Let's do our usual thing of first testing if we can change the shell. So, if we do uh, CH, SH, uh, is it U root? No, it's S, isn't it? S. Okay, that should have done it. So, if I exit and re log in. There we go. It's a little bit different. A little fancy. You've got some fancy brackets around. Looking good. Guessing I'm just calling normal program. So, yeah, that looks, looks alright. Um, next thing to do, then, I guess, is to uh, switch the uh, system to use it. So I need to check this. So it'll be lnl slash bin slash fh. And that's linking it to there. So I need then to use s and f. Slash bin. DC. <laughs> This is the other way around. One of these days I'll remember how to do this. Why oh, are you not linking? Are you doing it now? Um. Why are you not? Oh, because I'm doing LS rather than LN. What an idiot. Bro, do you even know what you are doing? There we go. So it works when you use the right command. That's what we've learned today. Just testing you. Just testing you. So that's that done. Let's try build a program with it. We'll use our normal example, Nano. Very good program. Best text editor there is in this world. Yeah. It does not like that. So let's do a quick check and see if that works. Or why that failed. So if we do nano. Slash 
slash vartempt. Portage, apps, editors, nano, temp, build log, uh, jewel case, and exports not found. Brilliant. <laughs> so, how do we set those? What the heck? I don't think I even know where to begin with this. I wonder if I could just reboot it. Let's try that. That does not look good. Well, it does log in. So that's a start. Can we try and compile something from source? Let's try that. But if we do wget HTTPS no, no. It broke the internet. God. DHCP CD yeah. Uh -huh. file system. Oh god. Well, this was a stupid idea. Um, right, melt options. Rewrite, remelt. Yeah, no, it's still not going to work because I was missing the export command. Um, I don't know if I know how to do this. Uh, <laughs> I know you can use set envy to do it, but how do I do I just if it was simple as LNS LNS LNing it, everyone would do it, wouldn't they? I think I'm going to leave this as a don't use 
the um, seashell or tea shell as your default shell compiler using it as a your actual user though seems to be fine might break some root script and um, some bash script sorry but otherwise yeah there's a reason why they don't set it the default in gen 2 and this is it but just a quick video i suppose because uh, i haven't done anything for a while uh, hopefully i'll get back to being a bit more regular again i'll try for two videos a week and yeah i'll see you on the next one keep compiling <laughs>